Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and this is Coffee and Makeup. Today we are making a very, very easy DIY Christmas lotion. I'm going to have two DIY recipes for you this holiday season and this first one is the easiest one ever so if you're the type of person that doesn't feel all too crafty then this is perfect for you and the next one is going to be a body butter which is going to be more of an intermediate I would say level of craft but this one is super super easy. In fact the majority of this video is probably just going to be spent on me decorating the bottle that's how simple this is so first I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need a lot of the materials you're going to need I got from Brambleberry this is like a soap making site I am not sponsored in fact I never do sponsored videos but I just love this site I think that they have very easy to use products and they also have a lot of like gift kits if you would like to give gifts for the holidays like handmade lotions candles or soaps so let's just get into the materials you're going to need for this DIY. All right, so the things that you will need are a lotion base. You can also make your own lotion base with different ingredients that you can buy on the Brambleberry site, but this just makes it a little bit easier to get the pre-made lotion base. I got the aloe kind because this is their only lotion base that doesn't need to be heated when you're integrating your fragrance oil, so that just makes the whole process easier as well. Then you'll need a fragrance of your choice. I chose a fragrance oil called Fresh Snow. You can also use essential oils, whatever you prefer. They have a lot of Christmas scents if that's what you're going for. Then you're also going to need an empty bottle of which you know the measurements. If you're reusing a bottle like I did, a good way to clean out a lotion bottle is to put a little bit of rice inside and also some dish soap and just shake it around and that helps to kind of get all that residue off the inside of the bottle. And also if you have some label glue left over on your bottle then you can use some olive oil leave it on overnight and then rub it off and all that label glue should come off so now our bottle looks fresh and clean you will also need a plastic bag you will need a food scale or maybe you won't if you just want to eyeball it but it definitely makes the process easier to have a food scale you'll need a fork or some other scraping slash mixing element and you'll also need some rubbing alcohol in some type of a spray container I reuse this old Bath and Body Works container and I like it better than those empty spray containers that you can buy at Target or the dollar store because this produces a much finer mist so that is going to be better for our purposes anyway and those are all the things that you will need so the first step in our process is going to be to put our lotion base in our plastic bag so I actually switched to a spoon instead of a fork because it just seems like an easier thing to use so first I'm going to sterilize my spoon with this rubbing alcohol and then just wipe it dry with a clean paper towel um, we want to make sure everything that we use is sterilized so that our lotion will last as long as possible. So when that is done, we can turn on our food scale and if need be, you can tear your container. So mine is 0.1 ounce, probably doesn't matter that much, but I will tear it anyway. And then we need to crack open our lotion base and put in, in my case, four ounces. And I'm leaving a little bit extra. I'm doing 4.3 as you can see so that if a little bit is lost in the process it doesn't really matter or hurt us. So our next step is to add our fragrance oil. Brambleberry has a really nice fragrance calculator where you can put in what craft you're making. So you can put in like aloe lotion base and then what fragrance oil you're using. I put in fresh snow of course and then it will tell you how many drops of your fragrance oil you need for whatever amount you're making. So for four ounces this fragrance calculator recommended that I use 20 drops. Unfortunately I did not have the foresight to get a dropper so I'm going to kind of imprecisely use the bottom half of my spoon and hopefully the results will not be catastrophic in nature. And I'm just going to try to estimate about 20 drops of this. Okay, so now that we have our lotion base and our fragrance oil inside this bag, we just need to squish it and mix it up for about, I would say, one to two minutes. Okay. 
Okay, so now that our lotion is all mixed up and the scent is well integrated into the base, we need to get all of this lotion into the bottom part of the bag. So I'm just using a flat scraper type thing to move all of our lotion back. We don't want to waste any of this. And then we need to get this lotion into our bottle, which may be easier said than done, but we're going to attempt to do a piping bag type approach where we cut off the tip of this bag and then we will try to squeeze it all into our bottle. Alright guys, so your lotion is all in your bottle. Awesome. Um, the next thing we need to do is just take a little bit of that rubbing alcohol, spray it on a clean paper towel, and just clean up any mess that you might have made around the rim, or anywhere on the bottle really. And then you just need to cap your lotion and you are finished making your lotion. It was so easy for me, I'm sure it will be easy for you guys as well. And the next thing we're gonna do, at least I'm gonna do, you guys don't have to do this, totally optional, but I'm going to go ahead and decorate my bottle now. Also, you can save your baggie if you would like and use that excess to test the product, if you will. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is the fun part. I'm at my decoration station and I bought some really cute decorations just from Walmart, so they weren't that expensive, but I bought these little snowflake stickers because I knew it was gonna be snow scented lotion and also some gold lettering for my label. You can also buy little stick on labels and last time I made a similar craft. Actually, I'll show you guys. I made a body butter and I bought a little stick on label and then some fun stamps. This one says, you're the icing on the cupcake because this particular body butter was buttercream icing scented. And then I also had like a little cake stamp. So that was fun, but this time I'm gonna try something new with these little sticker letters. And then I also got some fun ribbon to maybe tie a bow around it, which would be especially appropriate if your lotion is going to be a gift. Thank you.